are you supposed to be? Ray William Johnson. They're both middle children of the household. They both like narrating their life, and they both are a part of crazy families. But only one of them is the better fighter. We got a battle between Greg Hefley from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series versus Lincoln Loud from the Loud House. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and without further ado, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. Say what? Greg Hefley is a middle schooler who seems to care way too much about what others think of him. He spends a good portion of his diary rating the popularness of himself and others that go to his school. Greg's family consists of himself, his younger brother Manny, his older brother Roderick, his mom Susan, and his dad Frank. Greg is usually stuck in the middle of all the commotion as his younger brother gets attention as the baby of the house, his older brother has a lot of privileges for his age, and Roderick uses his power irrationally to bully Greg. Of course, his parents do seem to care a bit too much about other things rather than Greg's first world problems. Greg does not have many friends, but the ones he does have he sometimes takes for granted, though on occasion he does treat them good. Greg explains and narrates throughout the series that he has no strong talents other than video games and comics. As such, he spends most of his time on those two things and of course writing in his diary, which does deter away from his schoolwork and chores. When Greg gets into trouble, he almost always tries to scapegoat and push blame onto others for his behavior. And a good explanation of this could be a bad influence of his older brother Roderick, who also acts in this manner. Very few times has Greg himself actually admitted to being wrong or making mistakes and taking responsibility for them. As for Greg's powers and abilities, the series makes it very clear that he's just a normal kid with human levels of durability, speed, and power. For example, his friend Rowley broke his arm from falling off of a tricycle, which makes it clear that the Diary of a Wimpy Kid universe does indeed lack Toon Force. And we gotta make it clear, there are two interpretations of the universe. There's how Greg sees it and what really is. How Greg sees it may be distorted, but the truth is, Greg is just a kid. So while Greg may have physical stats of a below average middle schooler, he still can be pretty witty at times as he survived and learned from many of Roderick's pranks. Greg can also use his manipulation skills to his advantage. He manipulates Rowley much more than needed, as he often tricks him and fools him. He makes him do a lot of his own work, tricks him into giving piggy rides, looking out for dog poop, and even having him compliment his own English homework. Overall, Greg may not be superhuman, but calling him a wimpy kid might not be a fair description either. While physically I can agree he is subpar. Mentally, when it comes to manipulating people, Greg can actually be a dangerous kid, especially when facing someone as good-hearted as Lincoln Loud. The Loud House, minus Rita and Lynn Sr., consists of one boy and ten girls, and that one boy is, you guessed it, Lincoln Loud. At 11 years old, Lincoln is both the middle child and the only son of the Loud family. Lincoln, of course, does get his name from the former president, as he was born inside of a presidential limousine. Much like Greg Hefley, Lincoln likes to narrate his own life, but unlike Greg, Lincoln has a much more direct approach. He often speaks to the viewers directly about how he gets around his crazy household. This, of course, requires him to break the fourth wall. Though Technically, Greg can also break the fourth wall, but this part of the video is about Lincoln, so let's stay on topic. Lincoln is usually known as the man with a plan, as he seems to always be elaborating plans with specific objectives, most of them to his own benefits, but on the flip side, he does act as the jack of all trades to his sisters. For clarification, while he's not good at one specific thing like many of his sisters are, he still does his best to compensate and meet them halfway when it comes to being a good sibling. On many occasions, he has helped Lucy write her poems, being one step ahead of Luann and her pranks, preventing Lisa's experiments from exploding, so on and so forth. As for his abilities, he does have mild levels of Toon Force as he's fast enough to run faster than the eye can keep up with, and of course he does have minor Toon Force durability to survive wall level explosions with little to no damage. And a lot of this does come from scaling off his sisters. A good example of this is surviving Luann during April Fools. On April Fools, it's shown that Lincoln can survive being suffocated in jello for hours on end, being attacked by multiple raccoons, explosions, rat traps, and other booby 
traps, get injured severely in one scene, and shown to be perfectly healed in a matter of hours, as all of these pranks happen with the same April Fool's day. His rapid healing tune force will most certainly come in handy. Lincoln can also scale to Luann, who survived a door-busting balloon explosion that launched her at least two stories into the air and onto a building sign with little to no damage. If this happened to a normal person, they could have easily died or have been severely injured to the point of being sent to a hospital for months or possibly even paralyzed. But thanks to the Loud House Tune Force, this situation only resulted in minor injuries. Overall, Lincoln Loud belongs to a house full of loud louds. Each loud has their own unique loudness that makes them a proud member of the Loud House. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Supposed to be yo mama. Yo, big Benny Grandman. Doggy drop. So I hurry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Greg certainly puts the term wimpy to the test as he is the loser of this battle. While Greg might be far more manipulative than Lincoln, Lincoln Loud is so statistically superior to Greg that in the long run, Greg would have little to no ways of putting Lincoln down. As a reminder, Lincoln can survive being suffocated into jello for hours on end, being attacked by multiple raccoons, explosions, rat traps, and other booby traps, get injured severely in one scene, and shown perfectly healed in a matter of hours. As all of these pranks happen within the same April Fool's Day, his rapid healing tune force is one of the main reasons why he wins this battle. Lincoln can also scale to his sister Luann, who survived a door-busting balloon explosion that launched her at least two stories into the air and onto a building sign with little to no damage. If this was a normal person with no tune force at all, they could have easily died from this event or have been severely injured to the point of being sent to the hospital for months or possibly even paralyzed. But thanks to the Loud House tune force, this situation only resulted in minor injuries. Let's not forget that 
Greg's friend Rowley broke his arm from falling off of his tricycle, which makes it clear that the Diary of a Wimpy Kid universe does lack Toon Force. Now, I know some would argue that there is Toon Force in the universe, but I'd like to explain to you that that's just Greg's interpretation of what's going on. There's a difference between Greg's point of view and what's actually happening in reality. So thanks to the power of Toon Force, the winner of this battle is Lincoln Loud. Though, if you want to see a prep time total war between the Hefleys and the Louds, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 5,000 likes, such a total war will be put into production. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club.